what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Danielle subscribe down below I'll let you do that for a second. As promised, I'm going to be doing another favorites video. I'm trying to do them monthly. So these are all the things that I've been loving for the month of April, just in the last few weeks, I guess. Things that I'm still going to keep using the next few weeks. I've got really random stuff to talk about this week, like really random. Food, skincare, outfits, shoes, workout wear, miscellaneous. These are a few of my favorite things. Yeah, I'm not a singer. I'm not going to be filming in front of this background much longer, so I wanted to get a chance. I am in the middle of finals right now, but I really wanted to get a video up for you guys. I know I've been posting a lot of sponsored videos lately, and I really appreciate y'all's support. I really am so thankful to work with such amazing brands. This video is not sponsored, by the way, but I hear your concerns, and I know you guys are kind of like, oh my gosh, but the only videos I have had time for are the ones that have had deadlines, and so those are the ones that were going up recently because I was trying to balance finals and sponsorships and everything like that, and I'm so thankful to get sponsorship. So yeah, I just wanted to do that little disclaimer. I really appreciate y'all's continued support and I promise this summer I'm going to be posting so much. Last summer I posted almost every day. It was kind of insane. I'm so excited to just throw a ton of content at you guys this summer. So get ready for that. But yeah, there's not going to be much of my apartment here in Athens, Georgia because in a couple days I'm going to be moving back home to Tampa for the summer and then in the fall I'm moving into a different unit with my best friend Delaney. So that'll be fun in itself, but I am gonna be sad to see this little guy go. Anyways, not gonna get sappy right now. I'm almost about to be a junior in college and that just sounds old. I will have everything I talk about linked down below, by the way, so you can just check it out, links below. All right, first up, I wanna talk about this guy right here. This is the Isles of Paradise Medium Self Tanning Drops. I have heard people rave about these for the last year or so. Brooke was constantly telling me to try this out. Lately, I've been doing a lot of spray tans. I know I'm terrible, I'm about to stop. It's about to be summer and I'm about to be like out and about and on the beach and everything, I won't need to. Not that I need to now, I just enjoy a good spray tan. Can you blame me? But anyways, I got a spray tan for Coachella and stuff like that. And after day two of a spray tan, your face tan kind of goes away. Just naturally because, you know, you're taking off your makeup, you're washing your face, you're doing your skincare, self-care routine, which is important. But then it just like when you're not wearing makeup, it looks so dang weird when your face is like pale and your neck is just super tan. So I gotta say this has helped a lot with that. Um, this is for your body too. I've never used this on my body, but basically I literally add one drop to my moisturizer. I actually like to use this with a serum. I use the Sephora Vitamin C Serum or the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. <coughs> and I'll put a little bit of that serum in my hand and then put one drop of this, rub it together, rub it on my face. So like it kind of blends in with the serum and it looks great. And then throughout the day, or if you put it on at night, you wake up and your face is tan and glowy and it's awesome. A lot of times I'll put it on before I put on my makeup so that when I take my makeup off at night, I'm not like sagged, my face is pale because my face is still tan because it like tanned under my makeup. It's amazing. So yeah, anyways, I really like it. Like today I was walking around campus um, and I didn't have any makeup on earlier and it just felt really good because my face felt really tan and glowy and it looked healthy. While we're on skincare, I'm obsessed with the Sephora Glow Peel Pads. These are awesome. I'm really into convenient things, especially um, things that make you glow. So these are the Glow Peel Pads. They are supposed to make your skin radiant and smooth. I like these. You can use them in the morning or at night. Um, I like to use these in the morning when I first wake up because I don't always like to wash my face because it kind of alarms me. Even though I do like to wash my face because it like, wakes you up, but some mornings I'm lazy. Okay, let's be real. And I just kind of want to refresh my face I'll take one of these little pads rub it all over my face it's it's a very smooth exfoliator which is nice it's not like harsh and it also just brings out this glow in your skin so I'm really really happy with these and it's part of the Sephora clean skincare line and it's awesome really random but I've been really loving this Blistex deep renewal lip protectant um, it's just a lip balm that I got um, in Palm Springs when we were there for Coachella we were like getting a ton of stuff at Walmart the night before and this was just like at the checkout and I was like I forgot how much drier it is here and this was my savior during Coachella recently my lips have just been dry probably means I'm dehydrated even though I drink so much water that's besides the point I really like this lip balm it's really really moisturizing and it came in a set of three which is awesome so yeah I'm a big sunglasses person like if it is daytime and I'm driving like I will have sunglasses on I think it's just a habit from like living in Florida, it's just always really sunny. Like I just love wearing sunglasses. I think they add a lot to an outfit. But recently I've been dressing super casual because I've just been studying for finals, going to class. Well now I'm done with class, woo woo, it's just exams time. Um, or just like going to coffee shops or just walking around or just going to work out really quick. And I wanted a pair of sunglasses that aren't super fashionable. They're just very like practical but so comfy. 
because sunglasses can be comfy, I'm telling you. And I've had these for a while and I just started wearing them again. They're very like a fun summer sunglasses. So these are from Ray-Ban. I don't know the exact name, so I'll have them linked down below. Um, but these are just like really big and obnoxious and I love them. I actually got them because my freshman year roommate, her name is also Delaney, um, I have two Delaney roommates, past Delaney roommate and future Delaney roommate. Past Delaney roommate wore these like all the time freshman year and I used to love them. She would wear them on game days and stuff and I think these are so cute and I just like how they cover a lot of your face and they're brown and they've been going really well with my tan, so. Love it. These are the Lululemon Dance Studio Joggers and these are my favorite pants ever. Even though it's kind of getting hot out, I don't care. These are the most flattering joggers ever. They're slightly high-waisted, so comfortable. I love the material and they just cinch at the ankle. These are awesome. Can totally wear these to work out. I've just been wearing them when I'm lounging around. I've even worn this with just like a crop tank and that looks really cute or with like a cropped hoodie. These are great for travel, for studying, for just everything. Like they are so comfortable. Like I, I just, I really don't know what to say other than they're really cute and so they make your outfit look chic but you're so comfortable. And that's all I have to say about that. Next up, this is kind of, I don't really do this as a favorite, but I have a clothing item, a specific address I wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, a lot of my, I'm a, I'm a big like outfit switcher. Like I really don't like to like have the same outfits and Instagram photos. Yes, I'm one of those people. So I'll like change looks up and like wear a shirt with different pants so it like looks like a different outfit, you know? But this dress, I think I'm just gonna wear all summer and I'm really okay with it. So <laughs> this is a dress I got from Revolve actually and I will have it linked down below. Ooh. I wore this to Revolve Festival one of the days in Palm Springs. I wore this on Easter, it was a vibe. I just love how it has the very, it's from the brand Lovers and Friends and I just love how it's like a cami and then it just ruffles all the way down. I got so many compliments. I just feel so girly and happy when I'm in this. It's the perfect length, super flattering. I just can't say enough good things about this dress. I hope it's still online. I'm sure it is because it was new when I got it. So I will have it linked down below. It's awesome. That's annoying. I'll move that. I debated on putting these in my favorites video just because I don't ever want to be like a show off and be like, look what I have. But these are something that I wore all of Coachella and I've just been wearing and I'm going to wear all summer and I'm just really happy about so we're gonna do it so you can click through or not i'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out i treated myself to the balenciaga triple s sneakers i've wanted these for so long i went and almost bought them in new york one time and they were sold out and then they came out with this new style that's super sick and they're very similar to the classic white and tan ones that everyone has it's just there's not really much tan to it and it's got a clear sole i love these i love big sneakers to each his own um i love it they literally show your shoe size on the front um, but yeah, I wore these all of Coachella and they just make any outfit look dope, literally dope. And I'm gonna be wearing them all summer and I'm just really happy. I was so excited because I really thought they were gonna go out of trend really fast. So I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna buy them. And then I kept seeing them and I kept wanting them. And then I was texting Maggie at McDonald and we were both like, let's just get them. Why not? Let's just do it. And we both did it. We both wore them to Coachella and it was iconic. So yeah, love these. So happy with them. I'm gonna still wear them. I'm almost positive I put this in a favorites video before, but I just can't explain how awesome this item is for me and how helpful it's been. This, it is a heated neck pillow. This has so many powers, I'm telling you. So I got this at Indigo Home in Athens. I believe they have an online store, um, but it's from the brand Sonoma. Yeah, it's from the brand Sonoma, so I'll have it linked down below. And it's the eucalyptus one, and they have like other products. I think they have like heated blanket, or like a, it's like a microwavable one, so I put it in the microwave for four minutes. I use this every night. I get anxious sometimes, and sometimes before I'm trying to go to bed at night, I just feel a lot of pressure in my chest, and I just kind of can't calm down. So what I'll do is I'll put this in the microwave, and I'll actually just lay on the couch right here, put on a show to kind of get my mind off things, and just hold, this looks really weird, and just hold this right here. And there's something about the warmth that just feels so comforting. I think that's why um, weighted blankets are really popular. I probably should get one of those because it kind of just like makes you feel like, okay, everything's okay. Like one time I was told to just kind of give myself a hug. Then when I go to bed, I'll bring this with me because it's still hot and I'll just kind of try and start sleeping with it. I'll kind of snuggle with it sometimes if I'm feeling it. And then I wake up and it's like somewhere in my bed the next morning, but it just really helps me go to sleep and it helps me relax. At night, I go to sleep with it, and then the morning I wake up, I bring this with me out while I'm making my coffee, I put this in the microwave, and I wear it around my neck. Because a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I'm cold, um, and I'm just kind of like stiff or whatever, so I, th that's when I put it around my neck. And it's just, this has really got me through a lot, honestly, and I just had to shout it out again. This is so random, but I really had to shout this out. I just had to. 
This has been my favorite bread lately. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, what? I, I'm a carb girl, I love bread. This is Dave's Killer Bread. This is the 21 whole grain and seeds organic bread. It has five grams of protein, five grams of powder, 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 five grams of fiber. I love this bread so much. I get it at my local Kroger. You could probably get it other places too. I just, it's so tasty. I toast it, it tastes so good. I try to eat yogurt and berries in the morning instead of always having toast, but there's something about toast in the morning. So yeah, love this bread. It just, it tastes so good. And like, if you're on the market for some bread, like try it out. Now on to music and TV shows. I've still been into country music. I think my last favorites video, I said I was liking country music. I'm still liking country music. I have been in like the old Taylor Swift grind, like old, old, like Fearless, 15, uh, Hey Steven, like all those. And then honestly, Blake Shelton has been a vibe. I just go on Spotify and listen to This Is Blake Shelton. I talked about it in our podcast, Gals on the Go podcast, if you don't listen. New episodes every Wednesday on Spotify and iTunes and Podcast One app. Yeah, I can't stop listening to Blake Shelton and country music. Like there's something about the summer, windows down, driving, just getting into the mood. Like I love it. Like it makes me so happy. And for TV shows, I've been watching two TV shows. Let me tell you, one, I just finally got a Hulu account. I know, I'm so late on the game. There's been so many shows on Hulu that I've been wanting to watch and I just, I kept saying, yeah, I need to get a Hulu account, yeah. And my friends would like offer to give me theirs and I just kept forgetting and I'm one of those people that feels guilty to like use someone else, I, I, I don't know. So finally one day I just sat down and I got Hulu and I have been watching The Bold Type, like it's my job. It is so good, it, I literally have it on my TV right now, paused, because I was watching it and getting ready for this video. Like, yeah, I love it. So it is so good, it is total girl boss vibes, seriously, it's about three best friends that are working at a magazine together, and it's based in New York City, and there's all these random dramas in it, and it's funny, and it talks about really important things that are going on in many women's lives today. It's, it's honestly amazing, the way they like spread their messages. But the other show I've been watching is on Netflix called The Imposters. So good. I, I randomly one day, I finished whatever I was watching on Netflix and I was like, boo, poor me, like what do I watch? And I just started an episode and I got so addicted to it. And so I told my boyfriend about it and he watched an episode and now it's like our show. And, but I'm only allowed to watch it when I'm with him. So that's why I watch The Bold Type when I'm alone because we wanna finish the whole series before we both go home for the summer. So I'm just like, every, I'm like always wanting to hang out with him because I'm like, can we just watch the show? Like I wanna know what happens next. It's basically about this girl <laughs> that plays different characters and gets all these guys to marry her and then she steals their money and then like runs away. And like a few of the people that figured out that this girl was doing that to them kind of teamed up and they're called the imposters and it's really good. I talked so much and honestly, I was feeling so sleepy, but I was like, Danielle, don't drink coffee. It is 5 p.m. You don't need coffee. And I didn't do it and I'm naturally energized from talking. I know there's gonna be comments like, how many cups of coffee did you have before this? Cause I always get those, but no, I'm just, I'm just high on life, man. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have so many more videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me as I know that my videos have been kind of sporadic I usually post every Wednesday and Sunday, but with finals, it was just kind of weird and I just have a weird video schedule right now, but so excited to go home and just get on that grind. All right. Love you guys so much. Have a, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.